<laughs> okay, we're back in public session. Uh, okay, the first uh, thing I'd like to do is make a motion to seal the minutes from the non-public that we just uh, ended. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Minutes to seal. Okay, now we need to review two sets of minutes from our meeting in July since we didn't have one in August. The first one I want to uh, discuss is the non-public meeting we had on July 2nd. And uh, we were all present for that. No, I wasn't present, excuse me. So, oh, here I already signed a non-public minute. I'll reprint it. You, you're going to have to sign it. I'm sorry. You know, I've never missed a meeting. This is my this that, No, in 15 years, I've never missed a meeting. Yeah, not one meeting ever. Yeah, that's right. I, I was uh, I was in bad shape. Well, I'll make the motion then. Uh, to, uh, so, motion to uh, approve the non-public meeting dated July second, two thousand twenty-four. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And you'll just have to reprint it so he can sign it. Okay, now we have a public minute of July 2nd of 2024. You both got electronic copies. I'm looking for a motion on that one. Motion to approve um, public meeting minutes July 2nd, 2024. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay, Lil, so I got, I got the public sign and you'll need to make a new one for him. Wasn't he able to sign the public also? Yes. Because you weren't here? Oh, on it. yeah, that's right. I got another one. Sure, I wasn't here for that either. <laughs> okay, you need two of them then. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we get through that anyway. Minutes, minutes, minutes. Okay, Chief, you're, you're up. Okay, so like every fall, we have a ton of things going on in the fall. This is like community calendar. It's all kinds of trunk of trade, trade. You name it, we got it. So yep. starting uh, September eighth, we have uh, the yacht club. The anxious yacht club does a breakfast for first responders every year on 9-11. That's that day at eight a.m. So it's Sunday, September eighth at eight a.m., which is a good event. Uh, some of our guys go, a bunch of firefighters go. It's a good time, but uh, that's on September eighth at the yacht club. Uh, the town is having fireworks this year. Again, they did it last year, I believe. Yeah, they did the day before the duck race. Yeah, the night before. Uh, so yeah, that's on the 13th of September. That's coming up, and we'll have somebody there, you know, officer, at least one of the duty officers, paying attention mm -hmm. to travel. So I believe that right at uh, right at ABS again, where they have. Yeah, right at duck. It was yeah. pretty good too. Yeah, it was pretty. Good. So I know we heard him from my yeah. house for a little time. I thought it was pretty and good. Okay. So September 14th is the duck race thing. So we'll be doing our French fry thing there as well. Uh, maybe neighborhood watch will be there, maybe or somebody, or we can get the I stuff. Try. I'm gonna try. I gotta try. I gotta. Okay. Late. If not, we need to get your stuff, or we can talk. You know, okay. Talk yep. to ahead of time. We'll be through the table there. Yep. Get hand out stuff. Uh, for them. Uh, that's so we are in. That'll be next week's project. We get all the stuff together to run that French fry thing. Mm -hmm. so that's usually a pretty good time. Uh, after that, we have the foot race for the fall, which is a road race for. Uh, you know, Paul and police officers, that's in Manchester on September 29th. We usually have a team for that. We, that's kind of where it really in the early stages for that. But we'll have uh, we'll have a race team for that. And we'll get some of the young, maybe we get some younger guys who actually can run. So maybe that'll be the, <laughs> the dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's fast, he's faster than we are. And then after that is the trunk or treat thing. That's the on actual Halloween, I believe. It's on 31st. Mm -hmm. uh, on, is on, there's a trunk or treat. Oh, it's on actual Halloween, Halloween that's, night. That's yeah. where we have something. To and, and the trick or treat is always the Sunday. The Sunday before. We don't know sure the date. But it's, uh, we think it's the 27th of October. Yeah. And that's from 1 to 4 p.m. Yeah, same as always in the day. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's, that's uh, what I have for regular stuff. Chips can handle any, the any stuff. Any questions for the chief before we move on to uh, the lieutenant's report? Okay, Chip, you're up. Okay. Uh... For August, there were 13 uh, arrests, um, everything from conduct after an accident to a couple of protective custodies for alcohol up after suspension. So pretty consistent from, from month to month. Um, 12 uh, investigation uh, reports were generated. Um, a lot of theft by unauthorized taking, by a lot I mean three. Um, a lot of identity theft. Uh, we had one uh, dissemination of uh, pornographic images. Oh. But that was only one, so that's good. I think significantly, 
Oh, again, July. Okay. Um, for August, no burglaries, um, which you know, burglaries are tough. That's a personal crime. So, uh, again, we've gone month to month without uh, without any burglaries, which I think is fantastic. That is unbelievable. Compared to how it was like in 2013, 2014. Don't remind me. Yeah, it's horrible. I think we had four or five in the month of August that year. Yeah. Okay. Even two on my street had got broken into oh, yeah. on Patrick. Yeah. Um, so July, it lists two burglaries, uh, past tense, but I don't think those are burglaries. I think that's, trespassing. yeah, I think it was trespassing and somehow when dispatch puts them in, they put them as burglaries and we, we can't change them. Mm -hmm. So they were not burglaries. And, uh, for uh, July, there was nine arrests with a hundred, uh, 844 total, um, calls for service. Um, so that's pretty good. We have a pretty good juxtaposition. We had 844 calls for service in July, 839 in August, which was pretty consistent. Nine arrests as opposed to 13 arrests. Not that we base our, you know, our reason for being on the number of people we lock up, but that's, like I said, pretty consistent. Um, car stops in July, 223. Uh, and then again in August was uh, 181. So we're right in the ballpark. So uh, guys and gals are out there doing what they're supposed to be doing. And, I think the um, community appreciates their efforts. Any questions for Chip? No? Okay, Chip, thank you very much. Yep. Okay, how you doing, Steve? All right. All right, what's, uh, what's going on? We just uh, discussed the uh, neighborhood watch for the duck race. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, there, there is a possibility that we may not be able to sit at the table or be able to stay there for the table mm -hmm. uh, because of work. Issues and stuff like that. We're trying to get into the cafe. Yep. I'm going to try to schedule it again. I, it, I don't know why it's just popping up on the cafe. Yeah. Definitely. Let's see what I can do. Do you have anybody, let's say, that's a, a leader in one of the other sections that could take the, take yes, the ball? Yeah, that's the thing. We're going to probably get a hold of them somehow. Mm -hmm. um, that's something Melissa can do. We lost that's Melissa. Already, okay. So. We're going to need her to try to contact yeah. your subordinate yeah. to see if one of them. Can run the table. Yeah, even if it's part of the time, maybe I can yeah. and split time with them or something like that. But I gotta figure it out with work because this is like a Let's see if we can't get one of your subordinates to come in and do it. You might never know they may yeah. have to say, hey, no problem. But I hate to say this project at work is taking up a lot of time. Hey, maybe if I tell them it's near the French fry stand, I might be able to get a, a few <laughs> yeah, fries here and there. I, think it's I cheap entertainment. I actually kind of enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> free French fries in the shop. <laughs> yeah. With cheese sauce. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but, uh, How's everything else going <laughs> other than the... <laughs> um, got the uh, uh, Nextdoor app uh, online, I guess, now. Um, I got uh, a message from Melissa to go ahead and sign up. So when I did, I went and registered myself. Now, for some reason, you were, Chip, you were in, listed there as administrator or something on that app. I think I had to be when I... Yeah, for some reason, when I signed up, it, it listed me as an administrator, too. Oh, so. Welcome to the club. Hey, I know. <laughs> so, do we, we get a new badge or anything? Um, yeah, we don't need no sneaking badges. <laughs> but I think uh, what might be a good idea is also with most of it is maybe kind of get like a regroup kind of a meeting with uh, all, you know, the leaders and everything like that. Yeah. Try to figure out how we're going to utilize this app, who's going to utilize it. I know that there were there were some discussions of, about eventually having you know the leaders taking it over or something like that, and then it, it, we haven't really been able to get moving on it. So hopefully, know, maybe we need to have a meeting. You can do a Zoom. Of, of yeah. right. anybody who wants to be a leader. Yeah. And and have a meeting in this room, and uh, we'll have to send a big email out and have Melissa arrange a meeting, and uh, yeah. uh, have a meeting of the mind. I think yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Just kind of like regroup everybody and then. Uh, Tasks as yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. A smaller group to get it kind of operational. And Absolutely. I don't think you have a big, big crowd, but we could definitely try to do that because you want to, you know, it's going to be something new, and, and now it's going to be on the, this new app, and I think it's going to be exciting. Yeah, we also lost the group leader too that did all the, the Facebook thing too, and, and I right. don't know who's taking over that. I'm not a Facebook person, so I mean, I, yep. got, a, I got an account, but I don't think I ever posted anything on it. Okay. MySpace. 
Yeah. <laughs> so we got, we've got a few things from Melissa. Uh, yeah. finding, finding a volunteer, maybe. Yeah, you might or maybe a meeting of, of, of some of the leaders. And and the third one was uh, the Facebook thing, yeah. which I think you ought to just all go to next door, and that ought to be the end of it. Yeah. Okay. Instead of having two different sites, just one. Yeah. All right. Is, is that all, Steve? That's about all I have. Do you have any questions for Steve? Thank you very much, Steve. Okay, uh, review the 2024 budget. Okay, so our, our budget's looking really good. Okay. Uh, two things like stuck out, which we'll play into the next part about, uh, we did some preliminary work for next year's budget. We had a little meeting with uh, with uh, Lil and Sergeant Cashman and, me and the Lieutenant and went through all our line items to see what, you know, what we needed and what we thought was going on. Uh, the ones that stick out obviously are from this year that are over the police cruiser line, which is uh, $6,331 over, and uh, cruiser maintenance, which has $4,000 left in it, which is more than we're going to need for time. So that will probably be over by the end of the year. Uh, those are the biggest cost increases, which again, it's vehicles and vehicle maintenance is uh, the, the big cost, and it's just the cost of the cruisers went up since we got the quote. The problem is we're getting a quote, like you, we get a quote this year. The car's gone up six thousand bucks in price or five thousand bucks in price by the time we buy it. The year it's almost a year after, but then we do the budget so early. So it's been nine months. It's nine months later, and the cost of the vehicle's gone up, and the finance costs went up. They changed the interest rate, yeah, in that nine months, and that cost us like three thousand or four thousand dollars more just the interest rate change. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna factor that in this year. We're gonna look at the change from last year. And then when we put it for a cruiser price, we'll get the price of the cruiser and then add whatever the percentage was that it had gone up mm -hmm. in nine months and added it. So mm -hmm. even if we end up with a, you know, an extra two, two three hundred dollars, so what? At least we're closer in price to the, to the car. Now we only got two hybrids, right? We have three right now. Three and hybrids? Yep. Yeah. And we're putting in for another one for next year. But one of the, the older ones will either become an advent car or we'll get rid of it depending on what, what one is mile time. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I thought the last car we got was uh, going to be just a regular gas. We had we got two cars last year, one gas, one hybrid. Oh, okay, that's what I'm yeah. thinking of. Yep. Yeah, you got one this year, Ellen. Right. Yeah, that's huge that recall. Um, that was a paid for one cash, right? Are they yeah. buy one from you before? Yeah, so that's five. Our plan is to buy one. Yeah, plan was to buy So that one. there's a chance when I talk to the town administrator that might happen again. Town might have a lot of leftover funds from other departments, yeah, and they might entertain when we go to meet with the selectmen of this year's for next year's budget of just buying a cruiser outright, depending mm -hmm. on. So that's well, quite a bit, you know. Well, we we save some money though. You yeah. save the interest. You would save the finance cost. I'm sure you would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure you would. You probably save ten thousand bucks. On because there's finance yeah. on lease, you know. Yeah. But, so, but if they have it, they have. So that might come up in, in uh, when we meet with them in our, the end of October. Mm -hmm. So. They, it, right, it would save the town money. So I, I, I don't know. So yeah, it depends on how much they have. Yeah. Uh, but we all, we're putting it for one car next year and one change over. So we're going to change. We think we're probably going to get rid of the other unmarked car, whatever our other unmarked car says. Uh, 93,000 miles on it. That's the car we'll probably get rid of. Well, I tell you, we're doing good on the fuel. Yeah, the fuel's been good because we've added that third hybrid and gas prices are down because of the selection. Mm -hmm. so keep the gas prices will be down. Past yeah, gas is, the gas is down 70 cents a gallon, it looked yeah. like, so, over last year. So that we might have a little bit of a month for next year. So that was it for 2024, but I can go right into the 2025 uh, stuff. Is Those are, the again, those two big ones that we might have to increase the vehicle cost and vehicle maintenance. Those are the two that... We will we, we, we'll probably next month, so next month's meeting might be a little longer. It's going to be the budget meeting. So we're yep. going to go through the budget yep. with you guys, I don't, and you guys can you know, ask questions, whatever you need to. But those are the two that might you might Police see. cruisers and, and police cruiser maintenance, those yep. two lines? Yeah, those two lines. Yep. Yeah, but we had 48000 last year. Now, if you have, that's, that's two cars, right? Or one? That was one car and one pay, and one finance. We still have another finance payment next year. And a, and a payment for new cars. We'll okay. Two, we'll so that's two payments. Two payments yeah. Two, right. two different cars. Two different cars. Yeah. So we still owe half on another exactly. car. Exactly. Yeah. I got you. And maybe yep. we get the time to pay. If they paid the half on the other car, it would drop the budget down a little bit. 
Yeah, maybe that, that maybe would be maybe half a cow that could do yeah, it. Yeah, maybe we can do that. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, so those which you might see. The other weird one that is the computer line. Mm -hmm. You see there should be quite a bit left right now. Let's see. Who these computers? Oh, we paid for right on. I I see. Computer services? Yes. There's $14,000 left of it. Yeah. Uh, the town, we just got, we talked, uh, Chip reached out to the county. They're not doing this computer changeover. They've delayed it again. So now they're talking March, April of 2025, which is great. But your budget runs out in December, so you got to get the money back that we had put aside to pay for that this year. Mm -hmm. Right? Make sense? Mm -hmm. So we can, and I have talked to the town administrator about taking some of the money that's left in there and encumbering it because we already signed a contract with this company to pay for the to pay for the upgrade next year. So we might be able to save some of it by taking money from this year's budget that's left, right? If we pay a thousand bucks a month to the regular maintenance guy. We should have about 10,000 bucks left in there. And they'll be crediting it because the contract with our old IMC we had to pay, which we thought we weren't going to have to pay. Right. Um, they will prorate us back some money on that because the contract January, February, March, April right. will come I think back. it was nine, was it 9,000 more or something like that? It was 13,000. So we won't have all of it, but we could easily lose yeah. 10. Yeah. It would, again, help next year's tax rate by if we were able to encumber some of the leftover funds. That's not something we, we know what we already signed a contract for that we're gonna have to pay next year. Mm -hmm. And he said as long as we had a contract signed with them, we can do it. Good. But again, that's something we got we would have to again talk with you guys and then we'll have it kind of all written down next month. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are okay with that, we'd have to go to the select and ask them. Are you looking to have an uh, uh, an even budget with last year? No. Or uh... no. Well it's just gone up twenty two percent in three years, right? So mm -hmm. if Unless we want to cut services, yeah, we cannot. Because mm -hmm. the trying, yeah, we're trying to keep it as, as low as we can. Yes, mm -hmm. but to be level funded is, would be to cut. Yeah, no, no right. Because you you're you saying the set because of these changes in the salary. Exactly. The, the and labor, not just the, salary, but now we we underestimated the labor portion of our budget. Not just that. It's just it's just the cost of everything. The cost mm -hmm. of control it. A piece of paper is up. Everything's up. So yeah. we have to. So we want to maintain the same level that we've been doing. That we mm -hmm. have to maintain. Okay. Yeah. And we're not going to try to go up on all the all the smaller lines. We're trying to hold hold the line. Yeah. So it was pretty good. We went through it. There was nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing crazy. No. Well, hey, we'll try our best to keep it as low as possible. Yeah. So the Under other the conditions, but the the salaries is going to be the key. This salaries year. will be a lot. Yeah. Uh. So some of the dates. So you guys have it. Our next meeting, which is October. Who's doing the meeting? Whatever the first Tuesday of October is. October 3rd. I think it's the third. We'll say it's the third. It is October 1st. 1st. Okay. October 1st. Yeah. Okay, so October 1st, we will have the meeting where we go over the budget with you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, the town, we meet with the selectmen, which is early, October 28th, which is earlier than we normally do. Yeah, and then we're meeting with the budget committee on November twenty first, which is early that we do, but that's okay, because I'm thinking that if it's kind of the town's going to have to deal with this whole December budget thing, if, if there is a big increase in the school, which we're here, it's not not as bad as expected. But I'd rather have our stuff done earlier, you know, than later, if the, mm -hmm. the people uh, aren't happy with the December tax rates. So. Mm -hmm. So, and it doesn't hurt us to have it done earlier. And we have more no. time to, to, to Okay, so it. we'll be right away, October 1st. So you go yeah. ahead and, uh, okay. and present it to us. And yep. we'll, uh, and then, we'll have then a couple of weeks later, you're going to be uh, at the town with the right. selectmen. Right. So that's kind of our schedule for this year, which will be done before December even starts, which is fine. Which is going to be nice. You're <laughs> gonna, we're going to see you the first. You see the selectmen two weeks later, then we have our meeting in November before you meet the budget committee. That's true. So we'll be able to make some adjustments, adjustments right. especially if they say we're going to do this or do that with the cruiser yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. So we'd have time to amend our budget. Right. 
which is going to hurt us, right? Especially if we get some money to pay for like yeah. half a car or mm -hmm. some, some, some uh, income or something. Yeah, and, and would that, do we look like we might be over in our line and our budget at all? Is it, is it your, one, looking? your one dollar? Oh. <laughs> no, no. No, so yeah. overall, the whole budget, no. We will, no, no it's not going to be a big windfall at the end like we've had. There'll be some time. money left, over sure. But, but not much. Not, yeah. It, there'll be some, there'll be some, probably. It's hard to say because we haven't had our holidays and our any oh, like that, yeah. so we have to kind of guess. We won't pin you down in so, yeah. 10, 11 bucks. Okay. There'll be money left over. We're not going to run out of time. Yeah. Good. Okay. Anything left now? Anything else with the 25 budget presentation? So nope. we're ready to do evaluation. Patrick, would you be able to do that? And you usually do such a nice job. There you go. Uh, motion um, to approve. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Frank. Uh, motion to approve based on satisfactory evaluation from Carl Hansen, presently Master Patrolman Step 5, if awarded the Master Patrolman Step 6. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, motion um, to approve um, based on a satisfactory evaluation. Uh, Peter Lennon, presently part time step nine, uh, to part time step seven. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right, motion to approve um, based on the satisfactory evaluation. Um, Dan Gooden. Presently, Sergeant Step 5, Board Sergeant Step 6. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, motion to, um, based on the satisfactory uh, evaluation on Calvin Calpos, presently Master Patrolman Step 6, um, be awarded Step 7. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And a motion based on the satisfactory evaluation. Um, Ryan Goulet, presently Master Patrolman Step 5, award Step 6. Second. On favor? Aye. Good. That's done. Okay, so that's the last thing on the agenda with the evaluation. So do we have anything else that needs to be discussed before I make a motion to adjourn? Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make a motion to adjourn at 7.33 p.m. Second. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So here.